DriveWorks Express is the design automation tool embedded in SolidWorks for automating the creation of new SolidWorks part, assembly and drawing files. You've probably seen it before or are using it now, but did you know that it has been updated and moved into the task pane for SolidWorks 2011, making it even easier to automate SolidWorks? I'm going to create some new variations of a fan project that I've been working on. I'll start by opening up DriveWorks Express. It's here under the SOLIDWORKS Tools menu. You don't need to install DriveWorks Express, it's there by default already in every seat of SOLIDWORKS. So as DriveWorks Express opens up in the task pane, you can see there are three options. We can create or change the database, which is where the automation project is stored. We can add edit models, or we can run a project. I've selected the Run option and now I'll click the right facing arrow in the DriveWorks Express command bar and this opens up the form that I've set up for specifying my new fans. All we need to do now is enter some information. Let's start with a customer name. Notice how the blank field is pink but as soon as I type in some values it changes to white and it will allow me to proceed. Now the order number. The yellow warning triangles to the right of the form field are another example of how validation and guidance can be built into the DriveWorks Express forms. The warning disappears once the field has been updated. Most people are incredibly busy these days and it can be so easy to overlook simple things about even the most mundane. Which is why using a rules-based automation tool such as DriveWorks Express can really help to enhance quality of responses as well as response times. The tooltips that appear in DriveWorks Express are another example of how we've tried to build in the ability to provide as much guidance and validation as possible. Here we are displaying a tooltip to indicate the minimum and maximum values for the blade radius. So let's specify the rest of the options. The number of speed settings, blade quantity and fan type. And then click Create to generate the new files for our drawings parts and assembly. As it generates the new files, DriveWorks Express displays each action that it performs in the task pane. Imagine if we were to do this manual in SolidWorks, then all of these are individual steps that we would have to do one by one. Automating them using DriveWorks Express, based on the rules that need to be applied, results in accurate and fast outputs. And just remember, there are two parts to any automation project. Firstly, setting up the automation project and then running or creating the new variations. Once we've done the first part, the setup, once we've applied our rules, we can run our projects and we can run them over and over again to save time and to create what we need based on rules. So now we've generated this fan. If we want to run another one through, we just fill out the forms again and hit create. If you'd like to have a go with this particular example, you can find it on the DriveWorks Express website, www.driveworksexpress.com. And of course, you've got DriveWorks Express inside every seat of SolidWorks.